Hey guys, Shadow976 here. I thought I'd show you some of my uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic books. These are the original ones from the 80s by Eastman and Laird. They also had a lot of guest artists and writers. Um, that They did a lot of painted covers, a lot of, you know, other stylized covers. This is the original number 10 from like 1988 or whatever year. Here's a nice, uh, this is by Richard Corbin, a painted cover. I mean, look at the detail that he goes into on this. You can see the turtle's veins and everything. Like, look at the bumps on the crocodile. This is uh, a turtle, like, as an executioner or something. I forget what issue this is. This one I really like is by Michael Zuli, where he paints them, like, as if they were, if they appeared in real life, this is probably what they look like. And then, here's, like, one of the, this is, like, like a cartoony one, but the official comic book not the Archie ones. What's that? Go back? Alright, well, I mean, look at look at the detail on this Michael Zuli cover. Mick Splinter look really scary right there. Oh, you meant the one before this one? Sure. Uh, yeah. Turtle as a executioner or something. What's that? Zoom out? Alright. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's not a Ninja Turtles comic. It's a it's a bottle of Terrapin Hopsecutioner. So, uh, let's drink it! Hey, welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Did you like that opening? It took me a long time to figure out how to make a cool opening for, uh, this beer. Um, I've actually had this beer for almost two months now. It was a gift from Mark, uh, down at, uh, Video Beer Reviews in Georgia. This is Terrapin Hopsecutioner. It's their new year-round IPA. I love that label. It looks like a Ninja Turtles comic book cover. That's why I did that opening the way that I did. Um, don't really know much about it. It's supposed to be a pretty good IPA. It says, Hear ye, hear ye, all hop heads shall herewith rejoice. Terrapin hath recruited ye old hopsecutioner to execute the exact hop profile for this killer IPA. You may lose your hop head over this one. Um, and I also printed out the website. Not much on the website, it's just kind of the stats. 7.2% ABV, 78 IBU is pretty bitter there. Two row pale malt, Munich pale crystal, 24L, and victory for the malts. For hops, we got Warrior, Chinook, Centennial, Simcoe, Amarillo. And it's dry hops with Cascade hops. So that's probably going to be more... I, actually, I just watched Mark's review of this, and it sounds more like more like a West Coast IPA uh, with a lot of citrus notes. You know, I was going to save the cap, but I didn't realize till now that it's just a plain, you know, bronze cap or whatever. Uh, I'm using my favorite glass to drink IPAs. This is my Beastie Boys Newberry Comics pint glass, which also brings me up to another... Announcement. I'm going to do another collection video showing you my Beastie Boys collection. Now, I, I've had this beer chilling in the fridge for almost two months, and I'm hoping that it hasn't gone flat or sour or anything. I mean, it has a freshness date on the bottle of up till May of this year. Uh, but I remember uh, the other Mark, Mark Starr at the Hoppery. Uh, he's like trying to do this campaign of, you know, drink your hops as fast as possible, keep them as fresh as possible, for as long as possible. Well, for as short as possible, really. Anyways, on with the Hopsecutioner. That's the color I like to see in an IPA. That is like straight up orange. That's also why I like to use this. Uh, Very it's clear. A lot of carbonation. Didn't get much of a head on there, though. That's a little disappointing. I probably could have poured it a little bit more vigorously, but, you know, it's kind of like off-white, a little foamy. Okay, yeah, this does kind of smell like, it It smells like the Sierra Nevada Torpedo. It's like that citrusy, very citrus smell. Some grapefruits, but you definitely get the hops in there. and There's like a kind of like a malty sweetness, too, if I, uh, if I smell it correctly, so... It cer certainly looks and smells good, so let's see if it tastes as good. Nice. This is like a, a, like a kind of a hybrid 
of a West Coast and an East Coast IPA because you get the citrus up front that you get with a West Coast and it finishes with like that pine resininess that you get in an East Coast like a Dogfish Head 60 Minute um, and it's leaving like this kind of dry malty aftertaste it's it's a little sweet but it's not uh, you know it's not overbearing it's actually rather nice and soft in the mouth it's not very I wouldn't call this crisp even though it's like, you know, a little bit carbonated now. Um, it's very, it's like thick and almost kind of sticky in the mouth. But it goes down real easy. It's actually very drinker friendly. See now, the more that you drink, the more that, the more you notice is, uh, now the citrus and the pine are kind of combining together to get this kind of, like a, like kind of like a malty, dry bitterness. There's like this kind of malty aftertaste, like maybe a little bit bready or biscuity, but it's it's subtle, but it's there. Yeah, I wish I had more than one bottle of this, because I would just swig these right down. Um, as far as the body, I mean, it said 7.2%. You can't taste or feel the alcohol at all. And, you know, even though I'm drinking this pretty quick, it doesn't feel like that heavy of a beer. You know, like I said, it's thick in the mouth, but it's very smooth, very drinker friendly. So, uh, aside from the dry bitterness, you know. Um, anyways, I guess that does it for this review of the Terrapin Hop Executioner. Again, that's an 8 out of 10. It's a very good beer. like it a lot. Um, I would totally get this in six packs if they had it up around here. And, I mean, the label alone is worth it. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Somebody brewed it, Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.